Well, new at 11, new and troubling charges filed against a former Montgomery County teacher. Lawrence Joins is already in jail, accused of child porn and abuse. And tonight, more than a dozen new counts were filed against him. Montgomery County reporter Kevin Lewis is live in Silver Spring to explain why some say warning signs went ignored. Kevin? Well, Alison Joins had been in the classroom for 27 years, most recently teaching music here at New Hampshire Estates Elementary School. After reviewing these charging documents, some believe the 55 year old fell through the cracks and school leaders kept him there. The allegations are damning. Years of molestation behind the walls of this elementary school at the hands of music teacher Lawrence Joins. I was one of the moms that also came to complain. Stephanie Herrera's son was in Joins's class. There was something that was not right about him, just seeing him. And Herrera isn't alone. According to court documents, in September 2010, a parent complained Joins asked her daughter to, quote, crawl into his lap. Then one year later, a first grader reported Joins tickled her during a lecture. Court records show New Hampshire Estates principal disciplined Joins, but kept him on staff, teaching with no supervision. But it's concerning. Janice Sartucci is with the Parents Coalition, a community watchdog group. He, uh, according to the charging documents, was found to have a box of large peppermint sticks in his classroom that he was using to insert in the mouths of these children and videotaping them. And that was after allegations had been made against him? Correct. When I found that, I felt very disgusted. Herrera now concerned sending her children to school. Complaints, um, not only from parents, from teachers, and nothing was done until the day of his arrest. And then you're going to come and say, I'm sorry. Well, in response to these charges, Montgomery County Public Schools released a statement saying, in part, this case has led to changes in the way we monitor and track allegations of employee misconduct. Any and all safeguards should be put in place to protect our children and monitored by school leadership. That's the very latest from the Montgomery County Mobile Newsroom in Silver Spring. I'm Kevin Lewis, ABC 7 News.